And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Friday night spice stream as we continue with some more The Quarry. I'm not quite sure if we'll be able to get to the end of this game tonight or if I'll have to divide it up into two more streams, but we're kind of, I think, past the halfway point in this game, guys, so we're getting towards the ending very quickly. Oh, oh my god, Mr. Groovypasta, how's it going, mate? Sorry, um, my mind's a bit of a blank today. 27 months, holy shit. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, my dude, for the incredible support and being an amazing friend. Thank you so much. I love you. I miss you so much. I can't wait to come back to Texas again. We can all hang out. Be careful to hear those woods have bears. Oh, they certainly have something terrifying in them. Teenagers. So many teenagers running all over the place. <laughs> Like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, guys, this has been a week. <laughs> like, just, it's been a very draining week for me, so we're just gonna see how tonight goes. I might run it a little bit shorter, maybe closer to two hours than two and a half, but we're just gonna see how we're doing in terms of the vibes. Oh, thank you for the stretch check, Hayden. Oh. Oh, you guys probably heard that snap, crackle, and pop. That was my fucking neck. <laughs> but my makeup's on point tonight, so I'm going to make the most of it. Okay? <laughs> so, let's continue. And I will, again, as we start the quarry, again, I'm just doing my own spur-of-the-moment choices. I'm going to try and help to get as many people through this uh, game as possible and get as many survivors as possible um, So please no backseat gaming if you would have chosen something different if anything that then encourages you to pick up this game for yourself and try it out So let's just sit back relax as best we can and enjoy the rest of the quarry Oh some more of the quarry uh, Yes, this was it Oh, Samuel, you're too kind. You always have a wonderful way with words. The belly of the beast. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. Wow, rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Okay. Caitlin, what do I do? Uh, Caitlin? What do I do? Oh, wow. Real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <sighs> oh, no way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. The body in the lake, too. Remember what Jacob said? Yeah, right. Listen to me. These people are not who you think they are, I promise. Okay. Uh, curious? Hold up, you, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening and you're all in it. No. Her bracelet. Oh, that's right. Uh, Nick decided to go full Hellraiser all over the place. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. What's up? Worst case doing? scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Brian, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live when he's not at camp, I mean? Okay. What makes you think I know? What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? Not gonna lie, she looks like a fucking badass. He's not in the storm shelter. <laughs> I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. 
Caitlin, you got a plan? The house behind these woods. Yeah, that's a good place to start. Dude! What? I have eyes. I can tell when it has the spooky vibes. Uh. Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? And don't forget about Nick, dude. We're gonna try and save Nick, okay? okay? I need closer one of the spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. Ooh, thanks for the hydro check, Dork Souls. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. Come on, Ryan. I know you're friends with him, but come I'm on. With you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. Okay, no way you're going alone. There's no way I'm letting a murdering fugitive like you mm, go maybe anywhere a bit too near aggressive. Chris on your own. Wow, are you flirting with me? What? No. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's we can't. Be fine. We kind of have most of his blood that across all of us. Stole. Where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be totally fine, guys. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Okay, have you been there? Have you actually been there before? I mean, n no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. Just I kind of have to keep going in a general that way direction. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? Uh, look. I'm not gonna pick fights. I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. If we can't find another way. Hey, Shep, how's it going? Like Welcome back. Pretty. Like, if it wasn't for the crazed werewolves running around the forest, or maybe because of the crazed werewolves running around the forest, there this would be... Is. A beautiful place to visit. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How... Do we get to the house? Maybe through the chain link fence and really razor wire? Question. Cause I think that's razor wire along the top. <laughs> Maybe we just don't. Okay, I get it. He's your friend. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. 
Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, Oh, happy birthday, Shep. Hope you had an awesome birthday the other day. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Okay. Come on, Ryan. Where are you going? You're on a timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. Oh. That, that works. Holy shit. Are you okay? Laura? Laura? There you are. Oh, of course, because she's turning, so the water's affecting her. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, mm. Mary and jazz hands. <laughs> oh shit. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. Oh shit. Cause she's turning. The guys you have, Grandma. <gasps> oh, her eyes look so cool when no they're yellow. Shit. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow. We haven't got much time. Oh, Laura, you don't deserve all this bullshit that's happening. Okay, quick look around in case I find a tarot card. Anything around here? Ooh, that looks interesting. First aid kit? Ooh, something else. This must be part of the old working quarry. Makes sense. Yeah, it would have been cool if they managed to keep like one or two of the scars across the eye, but I guess with the, the healing factor they fade very quickly. Yellow eyes are cool, period. I mean, just look at Morrigan in Dragon Age. Oh, These absolutely. Must have been from the quarry days. No duh. No one's been down here for years. Oh, I think her eyes fluctuate between blue and yellow. Oh, that's really cool. We didn't see that with Nick, though. He didn't have the yellow eyes. Maybe it's like when like the body's healing and stuff, then you get like the flare up of yellow eyes. Either way, it looks really cool. Dr. Creeper, how's it going? Welcome. It's good to see you again. Mm. Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. <gasps> It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. Oh, shit. Mm, someone heard that. Heard that? Okay. Oh, I hope not. not. Like done. You're being optimistic. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Careful. Jeez. Mm. Okay, that's one away. Can we just vibe with the hag for the rest of the game? I mean, we could. Yes, there we go. I definitely haven't found all the tarot cards, but I found a couple and I'm pretty pleased about that. Oh. 
It's not a horror movie where that's some light and fun flirtation with someone as you're turning into a monster. Oh boy, this is high. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure what state this game is uh, set in, but with the mine underground and everything like that, I'm picking up some uh, very much Baker House from uh, Biohazard vibes. Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought. Oh, do I remember the clue we clipped from last week? Uh, Sam, could you please remind me? I didn't check out the clips last week, um, from last week. Down. Well, this has been a very busy day. Out. <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. Ha ha. I love the sarcasm in this game. It's the like because these actually feel like young adults slash teenagers. So what's your deal, then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing. It doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box. Is that what you're saying? Uh, you know that's not what I meant. You know that's not what I mean. I've been coming here for years. You get to know a place and it feels like a second home, you know? I mean, till now. Mm. What about your friend, uh, Caitlin? Is that her name? It seems like she looks up to you. I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of closer to Dylan, though, after tonight. Uh, I don't know. Well, trauma can bring people together. Mm. Yeah. And vodka. <laughs> so what about you? Who do you like more? I don't know. Oh. Maybe neither. I'm curious if there's like options that you can take like this earlier way. in the game I that it's more definitive and the answer like, yeah, yeah. I, I look out for Caitlyn more or something. But or we did, he did say that he was more interested in Dylan. Up to you. Damn! Someone's been eating their spinach. <laughs> so, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? Oh, second tarot card. Good, good. Oops. Come on, don't wander too far. Looks promising. Okay, look around to see if there's anything interesting. Not that I can see. Everything looks to be pretty standard. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. Moonshine? Prohibition. These are run running tunnels. Nice. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the hackets were bootleggers. That makes sense. I guess when the quarry shut down, they branched out. Come on, time travel later. Mm, it would have been good to maybe take a bottle I or this is it? distill it into a smaller bottle because uh, it could be used for Molotov cocktails. I'm completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we?
Or a little sip of moonshine for courage. But you gotta keep a level head in this game. That's why I'm drinking um, uh, ginger ale tonight and not whiskey, because I need to keep my reflexes sharp. If I want to make sure I keep as many of these dumb kids alive. <laughs> Nick? You hiding around here, sweetie? Uh, what the hell happened here? Uh, that's kind of my bad. Had a bit of a tumble with one of the locals. The fuck? Caitlin, this place is wrecked. <laughs> well, you should see the other guy. What do you think happened to Jacob and Emma? Probably nothing. Hopefully. I mean, I mean, should we go find them? Warn them? I think the safest thing, the most responsible thing, is to try and get help. Hmm. Right. And then we can come back for them. And Nick. And Nick. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We just need to find uh, our strange, wonderful friend who... Um, Spontaneously combusted out of his skin. What? And yes, Jason is currently locked in a cage, I think, on the Hackett is estate. There, is there something in there? I don't know. But thankfully, uh, Laura, uh, uh, Team Laura is coming to rescue what him. What is it? Uh, Hopefully. Jacob? Emma? I swear to God, if there's a werewolf in there. Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. No, careful, 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 Dylan. I like you. Don't die. Please don't die. Ah! Oh, 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 she makes me. She makes me. Oh. Hey, hey, it's us. Oh shit. It burns. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. I, wait. I'm wait. so sorry, Dylan. Dylan. I am so so sorry. Oh, I didn't know it was you. I was really Dylan. scared, and I thought it's not Mace. What? Air freshener. <laughs> Still fucking uh, burns though. Yeah. It's all I could find in the van. Okay, everything's fine. Emma's alive. Uh, Dylan, <laughs> you're uh. Hmm. Now's not the time, Emma. So she was in the police station this whole time? Insane, right? This whole time, we were having such a fun summer. We never knew. Jeez. Okay. Can you fix it? No. Oh. Great. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises, but if there's hope, that's where we're going to find it. Hey, essentially, Carmina, like welcome back. Shot. Okay, I need you to help Dylan, me with this. Come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. Oh, thanks, Dylan. You're the best. What exactly are we supposed to do? I mean, the van is nice, but it's not exactly Fort Knox. Well,. There's a shelter under the lodge. You could be safe there for a while. All right. Abby, you're with me. Good luck. Okay, good, good, good. Keep those two safe and secure while we go and try and fix the minivan. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And yes, you're right, Hayden. Abby and Emma have some things to work out. Um, mostly about Nick. Just, I hope that they keep things somewhat civil. <gasps> Even the doors know this is a horror game. <laughs> what was that? Huh? 
What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. Mm, I don't like this. Keep it down. You keep it down. Shh. Okay, that's a whole other room. Let's look around this room first. Good. Found three tarot cards this run. Or this chapter. Hmm? Jeez. Poor kid. Head this big. Who's Bobby? He might be the biggest of uh, the brothers. Because I think there's Bobby and then there's the police chief. And then we've got the mom. And I think, like, the really older guy who was out uh, with the rifle. Uh, he might be the dad, maybe? This isn't old still. I guess business was booming. And yes, Jacob should be locked up somewhere around here, I think. So we might be able to rescue him. And get him a shirt. <laughs> Because I think he's still just in um, his swimming trunks. Oh. That's gasoline. Careful. I'm okay. That looks like gasoline. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like that. Careful. Jacob! Jacob! Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? Oh, the poor baby's traumatized. It's okay, it's okay. You're gonna, we're gonna get you out of here. Uh, no. I'm not gonna open it. In case there's something wrong hey. with the cage. Bad idea. Oh yes, because I could hear that humming. I thought it might be like electrical, and he seemed especially shaken. So, oh, okay. yeah. You gotta get me out of here, man. How? Seriously, it's electrified. Okay. okay. Um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated. Okay. I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Okay. are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Ma. Uh. <clears throat> Travis, you got some explaining to do. It's Kaylee. Oh. She's dead. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you gotta screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. No. Oh. No. No, no. No, no. Not my granddaughter. Not my only granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my oh. little Kaylee, you goddamn piece of shit! Not my little Kaylee! God damn you! What did you do to her? Laura, Kevin. Is she crazy? Wait! It's him! Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? She's in charge. You've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Your friend? Hey, listen. Okay. They said that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. 
Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Remember? We've got to be sure. You promise. Come on, Laura. Think clearly. Fight! Fight. you got to get me out of here. Okay, seriously, man. They took it! They took it! Mm. You fucking idiot! Ma. God damn it! You fucking piece of shit! Get away! Get away from me! Sounds like a nice healthy dynamic. They're close. That's why we need to get Jacob the fuck out of here. Okay. No, we're gonna help Jacob. Okay. 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 Talk me through it. Okay, so all I know is you have to open my door and that door. And definitely not that door. <laughs> oh, cool. Thanks, detective. Okay, fuck you, man. I'm trying to help. No, fuck you. I'm trying to Shut up! Shut up! Okay, there's a console on the wall over there, like a box or whatever. You should be able to use those switches to isolate each cage. Okay. Hang tight. Okay. Okay. Okay, come on. Time to rescue Jacob. Fuck. Um, three. And it was five, right? Hey, dude. Nice. All right now, don't fuck it up. Okay, it's five. Continue. I can do this. I can do this. Focus, dude. Focus. And four, because I think it was seven. Fuck. Okay. Oh shit, Laura! Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. What the I hell are you doing? Oh shit. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Yes. Don't. Fuck it. Hey! Let her go! Hey Ma! Send Bobby down! I fucked up. I'm so sorry, guys. Be careful. Make sure that shit doesn't bite. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried. inside her. That's why I need to find the key tonight. But we'll see how this goes. Maybe I can redeem this somehow. Maybe. Everyone's still alive, though. For now. I, I think Travis is going to notice uh, Laura's fun little new healing factor. But I'll try my best. I'm going to try my best to turn this around, but who knows? Did you miss me? Hopefully, you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's I have did. A look, shall we? I was very good this round. No, Sam, I'm going to play this through with the choices Eleven. that I make because it's the first time playing this game. Harmony and disagreement. So Brought I'm just going to live with my decisions. Sparks of passion. <laughs> Blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it. And tasting it could save someone's life. The wheel of fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. 
watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. The Emperor. Authority, paternity, strictures designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. <laughs> Details. Okay, I want to see more. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. I'll do my best. Okay, what do we pick? The lovers, Wheel of Fortune, or the Emperor? I want to go with the lovers. Because that could be about... Abby and Nick, or it could be about Emma and Jason. Laura. Mmm. Go. You've still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. I'm trying, okay? Yep, I'm I'm making the choices I make, and if I mess up, then I'm just gonna live with the consequences. Because I would definitely like once I finish this game all the way through with you guys, I'm probably going to come back and play yeah. it again myself Just in my own time and see if there's like a different, uh, all the different parts I can take. What if we just like walk to the main road? This isn't the main road. No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest... whatever? Yeah. Mm. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. Mm. At least they do have a gun to defend themselves. So... I guess this is me now. What? You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you... Hooky McHook face. Okay, try and stay positive. Yeah, I guess it's pretty unique. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. We're all gonna be laughing about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Hmm, think we missed our shot? Kinda got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? It was always next year, right? No. Well, let's get through this year first. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic. With an eye patch. Mm, it's a good look. Hell yeah. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> <laughs> there. Okay. Come on, guys. We got this. Oh, shit. Relax. It's motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Okay. Oh, oh. look. Steampunk's back in. <laughs> Ew. Come on. This way. Oh, my God. I miss like the 2000s craze where like steampunk became like a massive, massive thing. Like it's still a very, very cool sub, uh, sub genre and like aesthetic and everything. But do you remember in the like uh, mid-ish 2000s that like the steampunk aesthetic was just everywhere and it was, it continues to this day to be so extra what do we cool. Do now? Well, I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. <laughs> no. How are you so positive? Why are you always so positive? Oh, why do you keep asking me that? It's my coping uh, mechanism. You about your confidence, not your whatever is happening right now. Oh, I don't know. I guess I just don't like to see other people sad. Oh, please. What? Is that really what you think of your followers? Just a bunch of sad sacks that need you to cheer them up? Well, 
come after me, don't come after my followers. My emanation. You really need to come up with a better name for that. Hmm. Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm gonna do a full rebrand when I get home. Well, fuck this nine, huh? Yeah. Come on. I wanna hear you say it. Fuck this night. Fuck it all the way to morning. <laughs> Okay, well, there's still that tension, that I feel, a little bit from, like, the whole shit with Nick. At least down. they're still chilling out. Easy, ma. Put me down, you old witch! Blow your fucking head off! Ah, bitch! Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Come on, Laura, use those werewolf eyes. Gotcha. You'll pay for what you did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off me! Come on! Oh! Oh my god! What the shit? Constance. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh, go wake up. That's wake up. That's not gonna work. Darling, that that's not gonna work. Wait. Um, half a face is missing. That's not gonna work. And that's why you don't mess around with guns. She's gone, little Bobby. Marlon's gone. Cool. Yeah. No more party. No more protecting anyone. Travis. Oh my god! Everything's just going to fucking shit! Okay. That wasn't any vital organs. You should be okay, Ryan. Okay. Okay. Fuck. Oh shit. <laughs> <gasps> no! Yeah. Everything's yeah. going wrong! Uh, okay. Alright, that's not good. Uh. Yeah. Um. Yank it. And then you've, there's blankets and stuff around you, make a tourniquet. Because otherwise you can't use that arm. I know you're supposed to leave it in the wound in the wound to stop the blood flow, but you can't use that arm if it's jammed like that. Also there's shit that you can use for bandages and stuff. Come on, first aid kit. Okay, got some more evidence. Totally didn't at all saturate with that with blood. 
one. Good, good. <clears throat> okay. Come on. And yep, I know you're supposed to leave the knife in the wound. I know, I know. But I didn't think that would be the best decision here because he needs both hands and that's really a good placement. <gasps> okay, hide. Come on. Come on. Go away. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Okay. Go away. I'm close. Stand by. Over. Oh, fuck, 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 come on. <laughs> Come on, Ryan, you got this. You can't hide from me in my own house, fucker. You're a fucker. Nice comeback there, Ryan. That could, that could use some work. Let's workshop that a little bit. Then again, you are losing blood. Okay. Uh, keep running. That was close. That could have been very ugly. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Laura. Come on. Okay, I think we've got enough distance now. Just find a place to hide. Spooky. There are bears around here. Apparently. Uh, is that anything interesting? Place to hide, maybe? Behind the piano? No. No, I'm not gonna touch that shit. Oh, but it... God, this game plays on, like, your impulse to... Uh, for quick time events of um, when something pops up like press press A press A to do the thing and your brain is so wired to um, have those reactions to quick time events they, when uh, something pops up you're like do, do I want to do the thing I want to do the thing but I can't do the thing I shouldn't do the thing Okay, family tree, interesting. Okay. 
Okay, lots of good places to hide though. Good to know, good to know. Okay, cool. cool. Hi. So, I didn't mean to shoot your wife we in the face. We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. Laura. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But oh I'm my sure God. the hell can make you suffer. Fuck his shit up, Laura. <laughs> You can do this. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, I'm gonna run. While he's down, I'm gonna run. I could have killed you, but I'm gonna choose to run. Oh, Laura, you're not looking so good. What? Oh no. Jacob, get the fuck out of there. Jacob, run. Oh no. No, 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 wait, wait. No! Ah, ah, fuck. Ah, ah. I'm so sorry, Jacob. I'm so sorry I messed up with your cage. I couldn't get you out. I'm sorry. Where are you? Hey! Everybody fucking stop right now! Oh. I. I knew I wasn't going to be perfect, but that hurts. Off. You know what she did to Kaylee? And she killed your mother, too. Wait! <laughs> okay, interesting. I w maybe if you're a bit more of a prick when you're in jail, then he does shoot you. Oh, oh! There's so much replayability in this game. Oh my god, I I feel so bad for Jacob. I'm so sorry. He died as he lived in his swim trunks. <laughs> no, I'm a monster. Okay, and I I think we're gonna lose Ryan too because I fucked up with the knife. Keep moving, keep moving. Mm. Oh, I think you might be too big to get in there. Come on. Go away, go away, go away! Okay. Keep going, Ryan. You need some bandages on that thing.
God damn it, Bobby! Go away! Oh, come on. This is you... my knife. No, please. Please. Nobody takes my knife. You stab me! You're leaking red like a juice box. I am. No, I could use some help. Please, you, you can you can help me. No, man, you're bleeding out. The only thing I can do is put you out of your misery. Humane life. <sighs> I'm fine. Oh. Oh, oh shit. No, Pick on someone your own size. Travis! Oh no, Laura, don't eat him. Laura. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh. Oh, Ryan. Oh, how bad is it? I'm so sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? I keep oh. trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. There's Max, how are you? It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Oh. Uh, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Oh, Ryan, come on. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. What? Ryan, if you let me bite you. What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means. Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's... fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friends, too. Okay, so hear me out, guys. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Hear me out, guys. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. I know it's dumb. I know it's, it's fucking dumb. For now. But I'm already on a losing streak. We lost poor, poor sweet again, himbo. Yeah. Fuck it, I want to see what happens. I'm going to I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Fuck it. Do it. Okay. No, no, no. <sighs> Come on. Nice and tender for you. Oh. Just Laura, don't get carried away. I know he's very sweet. But just focus. Come on. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it.
What is it with people when they're covered in blood, they get like- You should start a, to feel better. A big percentage so, hotter. I guess. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, it, we're all thinking it. Fuck. We gotta go. What? You got it. You, you're gonna be fine, Ryan. We got this. Now we have two werewolves. <laughs> this game is literally, literally, oh no, if it isn't the consequences of my actions. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So... Do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for, specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped of parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Okay, let's have a look around. <whistles> Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. Oh. Anything by you? <sighs> not yet. Keep looking. Also, the thing about that bite with Laura is that because humans don't have teeth that are designed for piercing flesh, like we have canines, but they're nowhere near long enough that we can be classified as like um, carnivores. So, the va fact that she still had human teeth and had to bite him, that would have hurt so much because it's kind of like being s stabbed by a very, 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 very blunt, like, spoon in a way because it was like with the front teeth. And that would hurt so much because. <laughs> More crush, less cut. Yes, 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 absolutely. Oh no, even more werewolves. Whatever shall we do? <laughs> Speaking of werewolves, I'm probably going to watch this weekend the Werewolf by Night uh, thing that just came out on Disney+. Plus. Very excited to check that out. Alright, cool, cool, cool. <sighs> Are we gonna end up in a documentary? No. Shut up. Come on, let's go. We might. Oh, I really hope it's in uh, black and white uh, as well. Let me just have a quick look up here in case there's anything useful. Um. This anything cool? These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Anything useful? Ooh. It's on the book south. Who's T? Mm -hmm. Travis? Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. <sighs> Dodgy. You said it. Well, the entire family just kind of screams dodgy. God, I still can't wrap my brain around just how far south, like, this stream has gone with this game. Like, just from a few tiny fuck-ups and everything goes to shit and I, f I still feel genuinely bad for losing Jacob because oh he tried okay and I tried and we both tried but I just fucked up trying to get him out and it was 
the consequences of my actions. Oh. Anything useful down here? Trying to look around areas that are kind of out of the way a little bit. Because this place is like a goddamn maze. Okay, before we head up the stairs, let's have a look around here. Oh my god, if that was Nick in the cage and Nick just ate Jacob, I'm going to be so sad because Nick will feel terrible about that. Because he's a sweet boy. Oh, thanks for the stretch check. <sighs> better, better, better. He still can't see anything. Right, let's have a look up here. Look. Okay, that sounds like that might have what we need, maybe, hopefully. Nick, why do I feel so full of dumb so, of ass and pure you of heart? Operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, <laughs> I hear that no. Oh. Well, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Okay, lower it down. Okay, watch my back. Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. And going from the sound, it sounds like we're getting closer to morning. So I think we're at least like heading into dawn, I think. Right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Hopefully there's still keys. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Oh no, is this gonna fuck up All because right. he's only got one hand? Too complicated. Back grabber. Now you falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. Alright. Here goes nothing. Okay. Should just be a matter of doing that and lowering it. Not dropping it, lowering it. You did it! Yeah. Uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. One, Caitlin. Get in the car. Get in the car. And then lift the car up. Oh, this is gonna... Come on, Caitlin, hold on. Hold on, brace yourself. Dylan, 
Drop the car. Drop the car onto it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No! Nice! Caitlin, I'm sorry about that. Are you okay? Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. <laughs> what? <laughs> to play me in the movie about how brave I am. I love you don't so much, it. Dylan. Please okay. don't die. I love you so much. <sighs> you precious, so, precious beans. So much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay. Back to the lodge. Are you nuts? Better than being out in the open. Come on. We could check the car for the rotary arm. Okay. Or maybe she did get it, and then the werewolf uh, came in. Okay. I'm just rolling with the punches at this point. We're just gonna see how this ends. We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just, I don't wanna be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine, but we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. And yeah, the original part was lost when we lost Jason. Or Jacob. Fuck. Oh, I really hope that by losing Jacob, like, I didn't completely screw everyone over. Because if the, that was our only chance of getting the car working again. Oh my god, I'm going to be so angry at myself. I'm just trying my best. Huh. Looks like the main fuse is gone. That's why there's no power? Why would somebody do that? What is it? Silver shells. How'd they get down here? The hunter must have dropped them. This is probably how he got upstairs and attacked Caitlin. These fucking guys are everywhere. I hope you picked up those silver shells because they're probably going to be real useful for when we kill Chris Hackett. Okay, and they were sitting there, so let's head upstairs. Mm. <gasps> Could always head upstairs, maybe? What'd you find? Oh, I'm uh, just checking out this ladder. Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. Why? We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there, there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Come on. You all right? Oh, well, yeah. 
Okay, yeah. that was that was close. Okay. Okay, they're out of the basement. Oh, I still don't like everyone's survival chances though, though we did manage to save Caitlin. I was I was pleased about that. I just I'm really worried that by accidentally losing Jacob we fucked everyone else over. Oh, they ain't getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? Mm. No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Mm. Or just a way out, maybe? I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Okay, looky looky. Anything interesting? Oh. Huh. Mm. What's that? Proof we're on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Shh. Hmm. Mm. Wanna be thorough and check everywhere. Oh what shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Yep, that's Chris, I think. I think we found Chris Hackett. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh! Of course. Of course. Because everything's going wrong in this stream, isn't it? been eaten yet. Genuinely curious. I mean, I admire his courage thinking he can beat the shit out of a werewolf. <laughs> Fuck. Who was that? There we go. Okay, I was worried for a second that I shot Laura. But no, it was Chris. Oh, fuck. Okay. Thanks. For, um, not killing me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Likewise. So, 
What now? Everyone's back to normal? think this is over? Oh uh, yeah, I was thinking it. Roll credits. This isn't over. What? Uh, I don't understand Chris is dead. Oh. oh, Chris wasn't the first. Oh, shit. That's Jeez. not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. Oh, shit. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Oh, shit. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. They've been tracking him for years. He's a... Mm. Gypsy, a transient. Don't use that word. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Oh, shit. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A uh, feral albino child. Giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, buddy, go! At the cabins earlier tonight. Where? Okay. okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Okay. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. Okay. Okay, suspicious, but not mean. Why should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. Okay. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay. Okay, okay. So, where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Okay. He could have killed her with the Can silverback mirror, but he didn't. Give me some fucking clothes. Yep. Okay. Okay. I was so scared in that quick time moment. That's why I waited so long to pull the trigger because you I wasn't sure if it was your Laura. Chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, lip syncs a little bit There's off. There's still time. It's okay. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? I'll do my best. Death. Death takes many forms. It could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a, a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it means, well, it just means death. The sun, the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. I'm doing my best. I, I've only killed one person so far. The mom doesn't count. That was an oops. The a big oops. Hurt. Where did you find this? Where did you find it? This shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. Okay. It's okay. My poor boy. 
You see what it did to us? Oh shit, we get a bonus one? Oh! Oh, this is interesting. No. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Flashback time. What have they done? What have they done? Silas Dead or alive? Out of the way. Oh shit. That might have been one of the Hackett's, not Silas? Mommy's coming, Silas. Mommy's coming, Silas! Okay. Silas! So yeah, that must have been one of the Hackett's that died, and then Silas is running around in the woods. Okay. Okay. Hmm. But guys, I think we might actually finish this game tonight. Holy shit. Oh, they hurt us. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon, they hunt him, armed with silver. Oh yeah, I'm totally feeling up to it. Like, especially if it's we're getting on to the last chapter. Yeah, I want to see this through to the end. My show a play six years ago. Stupid children. Little silence. My little white wolf. You must be protected. You must not follow this path. Do you understand? Remember how I've helped you all this time? Remember how much I've done for you? Oh guys, it's fine. It's like 20 to, uh, like, uh, it's one, f uh, we've done this for an hour and 40 now. Like, I think chapter 10 is the last chapter. I think we'll get to the end of this and then I'll call it a night. Cause I, I want to see how this ends. I need to see how this ends now. Hey, Max. Oh, man. Welcome back. What? What the fuck? Why am I top of a fucking tree? Cause you used to be a werewolf, oh. sweetie. I imagine since being turned, you've woken up in weirder places. 
How the hell am I gonna get down? That'll work. Asked an answer. Uh, Max is Laura's boyfriend. He was the one who was in the prison cell next to her. And who did the... Rah, on her eye. Atomicat, welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. Thank you so much for the follow. We're just getting towards the end of the game, so just a heads up, we're on the last chapter of the game. If you didn't want to get spoiled, um, might be good uh, to uh, play this game from the start for yourself. Because Just giving you a heads up that we are getting towards the last chapter, or I think we're in the last chapter. Where the hell are my clothes? Oh, Tommy yeah, Cat, thank you so much. It means so much that you enjoy my ASMR channel. Thank you. Okay. Oh my god. Gotta find Laura. It's Emma's clothes, isn't it? Because Emma was on the island before. Make it work, Max. Totally should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Oh, but this is interesting. We haven't played as Max before. Laura's That's a good look for you, Max. You have got to hear audios, no debate. Oh <laughs> Atomic, you're so sweet, thank you. I really try to put a hundred and ten percent of my effort into um all of my projects that I'm a part of and um my ASMR tales especially and I have a new one coming out tomorrow evening that I'm very excited for. I, I'm gonna say stay. Laura's gonna uh, be back, I think. I also don't wanna risk it that he still might be infected to some degree and go swimming. Worse than it already is, right? Dylan did say that. Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. Mm. Right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Mm -hmm. Great news. Okay. All right, I gotta get a vantage point. Come on. Okay, let's check through the library first. Because yet yeah, wasn't this window open? What's not okay? Good. Better. Come on. 
And just quickly check the kitchen, because I want to check the windows were closed there. Get in with the best power of all, knowledge. Gonna use those survival skills. What the heck is this? Well, it's Abby's backpack. That could be useful for a distraction or something. Okay, nothing there. I'm gonna do a quick check of the backpack again. Okay. Can't do anything else with that. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, Nick was bitten by Chris. So he should be okay now. But I don't know where he is. Oh, the Medloid man! Thank you so much for giving a gifted sub to Atomic Cat. You're amazing, dude! Thank you so much. You guys are just so wonderful and welcoming to all the amazing newcomers to my uh, Twitch channel. So thank you so much, Medloid man, for the really warm welcome. Okay, I think Nick was bitten by Caleb. Okay. Oh, you're right. Chris was already chained up. So yeah, it was Caleb. Shit. Oh god, why do I have a, sne a sinking feeling that one of our wonderful heroes is going to be shoot is going to shoot Nick? Oh no. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay, let's head upstairs. I know if that's blocked off, other set of stairs. Uh. No, I think Nick got out when the power failed and then like the uh all the cages unlocked and then that's how uh, jacob died but if you were able to rescue jacob then he wouldn't have been there when nick got out so there's that still feel bad about that nice to put a name to a big name face so what you're like mr h's brother i guess who the big dude from earlier when you and ryan went to the radio hut Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. Hmm. Jeez. I'm see, really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Jacob's is the game's iron ball. Oh, a little bit, yeah. Jacob. I still feel bad about that, guys, okay? I know this game is kind of ha ha the consequences of my actions, but it still hurts. How long has this guy been here? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Keep looking, I think. Maybe I should keep looking. Yep, let's keep looking just in case we find anything else. Because, yeah, this is a good vantage point, but there might be other things up here. Because, yeah, we haven't explored this upstairs area before, really. Okay, anything interesting? 
Jesus Christ. I had to do a, do a second take because that skeleton, I seriously thought it was someone standing in the corner because I kind of like went past it really quickly and so I just saw the silhouette. For Jesus H. Jazz hands. Poor oh. Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Well, nine sight. Sounds about right. We have a camp mascot? Well, no, we did. But you didn't hear? Hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. Uh, Hayden, speaking of Steph, have you managed to get your painting framed yet? Yes. Yes, I did. Um, I've just been so busy with other things. I haven't had the chance to make a, a video or uh, post some photos of um, how it looks now. I really, really want to. It's just I want to, like, find the way, right way to show it. Uh, was there another set of stairs that went up further, or was that just me being weird? Come on. Oh, this is also a useful vantage point, to be fair. Where have I seen this emblem before? What is it? A ring with the crest on it. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. Fine, Dylan. Is there something here? No. Yes. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah. Uh, R.I.P. Megaphone. Mm, sucks. That could have been useful against the werewolves because they've got sensitive hearing. Oh well. That's fine. What's this? Trail cam footage. It's like they're looking for something. Oh. And that's yeah, why they had all the cameras in set up. Chris's surveillance room. He's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. Yeah, because they were looking for Silas. Okay. I do like it that um, it's in the narrative that the reason they're finding all these clues and remarking on them is because uh, there was that moment, I think... Emma was talking about it, Emma and Caitlin. Um, it could have been Abby and uh, Caitlin, um, but they were talking about how no one's gonna believe them unless they have evidence to back this crazy night up. So that's why they're taking the time to like properly like figure this out and like Scooby-Doo this shit. Um, yeah, just all these little touches. I, I love this game. I love this game so much. I couldn't find another vantage point if there was like different options you could pick from. So I'm gonna go with here. Wish me luck guys. We got this. We're also almost at uh, 1,600 followers on Twitch, which is amazing. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Oh! We're here to lead the way. That mates for life, we're proud to say. Shout at Stratton, shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? I'm glad I remembered the window, though. Showtime, motherfuckers. Hell yes. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best to keep as many people alive, but 
Of course, I can't guarantee anything. What is going on out there? Should we go find the others? No, we're safer in here and it's nearly morning. What the? Oh, shit. You had a perfect shot there, Caitlin. Okay, come on. Okay. I'm gonna say wait, don't give away our position. Almost got the head, almost got the head. Come on, bring that gun back up. Let's go, let's go. Santa brought us a puppy, you guys! Caitlin's got the gun though. Silver shells. If we can time it right, we can give them to her. She passes. Okay. If oh she passes. shit. Oh shit. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Beam, I'm good at my quick time events. You got this. Come on. Yes. Fucking nailed it, Caitlin. Okay, hide. Come on. Ooh, Meloid Man redeemed to pick my voice. Time for, uh, a doggy from Santa sounds like Krampus to me. Well, it's always nice to be welcome back. I trust you've all been very good this year. It seems that they don't seem to like my little pet. They were missing a, uh, a cat mascot after all. And he gives such good hugs. Alright, stay light on your feet. You might survive this night yet, my new thing. Alright, so far so good. Caitlin, come on. Go get some. Uh, investigate. It's silver! Hey, I'm here! Alright, this should work. So these are my good boys. 
They just require some discipline, that's all. <gasps> I thought I got some... No! Down? What a... Oh, not like that. I tried my best. I really thought I got some. Oh, I'm so sorry. Alright, now we're just trying to make it to the end of the night and see who's still alive. So what exactly happened six years ago? Alright, we deserve some answers. There was a that wiped out dozens of people and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Yes, that's Burn. about sums it up. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. And I will try my best to so not how mess do you it even up. Know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Oh. That might be him. Otherwise, we'll crash the car and everyone will die. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Just get down. Mm hmm. That looks to be him. He's gotta be nearby. And yes, I think the Let's car moving around. about they crazy? may have uh, hit their head against the window because that's what the quick time event was for. Otherwise, uh, poor Laura would have been knocked out as well. Wakey, wakey. Are we we there have yet? werewolves to hunt. You're okay. Been better, but. Yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. All right, and that comes to the end of that pick my voice. Thank you so much, Meloid Man, for requesting uh, Krampus. Whoa. I feel so bad for Caitlin. I really liked Caitlin. I want to keep her alive. Two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want. I won't stop you. What? Don't. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. 
Alright, I know it's killed. a little laggy for you guys, so sorry about that. You ready to end this? Hopefully smoothen out in a hot second. Let's fucking do this. Go team! Hell yeah. Oh, thanks for the stretch check. Aiden. Oh my god, I can't believe we're actually close to the end of this game. It all makes sense now. You've got wolf blood? Found it in the woods. Travis just reminded me. Um, you should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, I can't. I can't do that. It's yours. You've been through a lot more than I have. Anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you. Oh. You know what? She'll take it. Thanks. That means a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah. No worries. I guess. Ugh, pungent. Because, yeah, because she's been cured of well werewolfism, uh, lycanthropy, so she needs a little bit of extra protection. God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who are you talking about? I saw her too. In the rum tunnels. It's Eliza Vores. Oh, we have a Silas's name. Silas's mother. I th think... Who was she? Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Mm. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. Hmm. I don't think she's start? dead. Start talking. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did mm. she do? She just wanted to help him. Oh Travis. no. Did she she let him out, didn't she? She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. Oh no, and then Silas bit him. Happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. Fucking hell, man. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Hey. Everyone's under a lot of pressure at the moment. We've got shit to do. This... This is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Mm. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. I'm 
Ryan, don't go wandering off. Ryan. Ryan? Get back here. Shit. I'm sorry, that was close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kinda wish I hadn't. Same. What is it? Silas the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Yeah, it, I feel like some of the... Because we're getting towards the end of the game, maybe some more of the action bits are getting a little bit laggy. Um, I'm really sorry about that, guys. We're, we're almost at the end. Almost at the end. It only is for like maybe one shot and then it smooths out again. Oh, and he comes back. Fucking Jesus Christ. My God. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! I'm sorry. Are you sure about this? Shoot. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I fucked up with Caitlyn and missing him. I wasn't gonna miss this time. I'm so sorry. Please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. Oh shit. Okay, I have a feeling if you don't shoot him, there's an entirely different ending. So again, I highly encourage you to pick this game up for yourselves and see all the different I endings there are. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Hmm. Also, I do recommend if you're going to play this game, play it with headphones. It's really, really good for the extra immersive experience. Oh, fuck. Okay. I made the choices that I made, and I tried my best. And I'm going to have to live with the consequences of my actions. I'm definitely going to play this through in my own time off stream and try and do a run where I save everyone and another one where I end up killing everyone because I'm really curious on like what the different paths lead to. Having survived the night, Max was cured of the werewolf curse when Ryan shot Chris Hackett with a silver shell. Uninjured, Bobby was able to fend off an attack from Chris, his brother in werewolf form. Thanks to Bobby fending off werewolf Chris, Jed survived the attack at Hackett House. Chris was killed when his favourite counsellor, Ryan, shot him with silver. Sorry, Chris. Laura shot Constance's face off in a struggle for the gun. 
Oh, that's grisly. Oh, Jacob was killed by Werewolf Nick after Ryan eventually abandoned him in Hackett's basement. I didn't mean to, I fucked up. Chris Hackett's daughter Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura who mistook her for Werewolf Chris. Nick survived the night and when Laura killed Silas, Nick's werewolf curse was lifted. There's still a chance for him and Abby to make it work. Abigail made it to the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Emma survived the night in the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Dylan survived the night by taking refuge in from Caleb in the kitchen. Caitlin was killed by Caleb when she failed to shoot him. Oh, I feel so bad about that. Caleb Hackett returned to his human form permanently when Silas was killed. Travis survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to the curse that had haunted his family for six years. Ryan was cured of the werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the white wolf. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, curing every infected person and surviving the night. Laura killed Silas the dog boy in his nest. The curse of Hackett's quarry is broken. How- do we get enough evidence though? I hope we did. Oh, okay. I only ended up Bodies accidentally killing two people. In summer camp murder mystery. What do you make that, Anton? Hmm. Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say. But perhaps the journalists of North Kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North Kill. Probably not getting the best writers there. Okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to cynicism? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, so interesting. introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences and that's exactly what they her are her voice Real feels life, familiar occurrences with a shadow of spiritual supernatural where have i heard her voice before no <sighs> okay so i hope you've got hat insurance anton because i'm about to blow your mind did you just ask if i had hat insurance yes it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you a hat Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. Emily Axford. There have been some. That sounds familiar. I'm not sure and what I've else she's been in. And i some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh God! Why? Dimension why Twenty. That's Stop where she's teeth. from. Oh, I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcasts. Oh my God! Now, now that you say so, to mention Twitter, so I can see I her. Someone on and the yes, 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 yes. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show and tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? Mm. The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice. All right. Grace. Okay. Well, what I really The cast is, is coming up. Let's call a it a big round of applause for the cast. Donation. Like everyone was so you know, fucking good in this game. Flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Oh, anyone who, I don't trust anyone so who cool. listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing you Knowing for oh. a fact that we would never see any evidence. Sorry, I'm not talking that. a lot because okay, I just love well, listening to this. It's so good. We've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bonafide 
Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. Ryan? If you are the one who sent us whatever it is. Congrats. You got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like, slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. <laughs> give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. I like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Mm-hmm. Take a look. Apparently they found another body. Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're going to do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. <laughs> okay, fine. Yes, you. It, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah. Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned oh. or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. Because Jacob getting found the body in the lake, drowned, so they're able to recover it. I wonder if, drowned, it, if the end podcast changes on who survives and what evidence him. you find. Well, then I think oh, I that's cool. precisely what I meant to imply. Now, I, of course, I can't verify this info. Of but course you can't. What, do I have like a history of not verifying yes, my info? Yes, it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was drowned. Okay, well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay, I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this <laughs> picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing. He's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy, a cover-up. Don't you see? They're all in on it. I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe, still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. <sighs> I don't know, this is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, hmm. you're going to present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put what have you got? Out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at... Hackett's Quarry. So? Maybe they were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And Okay, this is definitely like too. all the little bits oh, of evidence no that you, you find, then make it into the too? podcast at oh, the end. That is please. that is okay. such a cute little so touch. I love this. Bags. I love These this so much. Bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from hey, their camera. Vince, and how's it going? they have a monogram of their initials. We're just getting it. It's literally think, rolling credits, least, but we're just enjoying the um, end podcast tell. at the end. Yeah. Okay, that's not nothing. I'll but give you that. Feel free to chill with us. So we're all awesome. We're vibing. We're all having a, a good time. More about the Hackett family. Right. So these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great, great, great grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Ooh, any plans for next week's right. spooky game? Um, yeah. I'd have to think about it. Apparently, I don't probably want to do like something it, that's self-contained and quite Quartz short. Um, okay. I because you would I definitely have plans Fun for fact, uh, the Friday just before Halloween because a very cool Quartz DLC site. comes out that's on that not day. Fun or a fact. Most that I'm very very are. excited for. But I digest. Digress. It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the mm -hmm. seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great 
supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm-hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, it's all good, Baron. It's all good. <laughs> this is the best game credit sequence I've ever seen. Welcome Hell yes. To Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light rating. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. Mm. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read? As the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they mm. shouldn't have seen. Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Just a little. Yeah. Just there a was little. There's something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended, for now. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad shit, fam. What? Signed by Travis Hackett. We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. The fact that they Season got a couple that is so used to working with each other as well makes this podcast feel so believable. Mm. Absolutely. Okay. Like, and the chemistry between them is so empty good. Vile thing. Now, to me, empty implies that it was once full. Samesies. Bloodstains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks mm. that way. Freaky. Some kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. That you're a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay. This is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool. A camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Ooh. Be honest. If it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? <laughs> no, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? Is that it? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it... Uh... A skinny bear? Mm-mm. This could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes the truth can't be contained within the lines. 
She's right. great. I yeah. love them. And I love also, this so much. Is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh. Yeah, yeah it's just a point. malnourished Weird bear with mange. Nothing bear. weird about that yeah, at all. I don't know. Again, Absolutely you keep saying not. a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. Yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. <laughs> okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't... I don't want you to do anything. <laughs> I want you to say what you have. Okay, so what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo taken by one of the counselors. I'm a mount bank. Oh, Downloaded yeah. From her phone. Oh, my God. Is that real? This is what we're here to discuss. It's pretty it damn good shocked. photo. I mean, doesn't it? Oh, come on. So. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. What the hell is that? Bizarre, yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than what we're being told. Man. There's something else, too. Yeah? Look what happens when I put it through a negative filter. What is that? It's her. The hag of Hackett's quarry. See? Full circle! I mean... That could be anything, dude. It, it barely even looks like a person. What's what's that thing where your mind makes you see faces and shit? I can't believe you're still questioning this. What do you want me to say? Ultimately, unless I experience something myself, the most likely reasoning is that it's fabricated. Mm. Okay. Then what do you think of this? Ew, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Mm-hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creatures supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? Yeah, it came no, in a little plastic a baggie Whoever straight to you. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Oh, fair oh, enough. convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. This so, is all pretty good evidence. What we got here, this could incriminate the Hackett family, or what's left of them, at least. Wait, you believe it? I, I don't know. At the very least, we should tell someone. The police should know, right? Do you believe it? All of it? No, I'm not the supernatural stuff. I'm talking about <laughs> killing those hikers. We've got a body, evidence they were there. This is real stuff, Grace. It's stacking up against the Hackett's. We might, yeah. we might actually we got, know something. We got Hell a yeah. flapjack stack of evidence. Yes. So what do we do? Shut off the podcast and report this to somebody? What? No! <laughs> Anton, we finally have something going here. It's getting juicy. Yes, we have something real. We have actual people have actually died. This is actually crazy. Grace, you did it. Just take the win. Let's turn this off and actually report it. Mm -hmm. No, say actually more. Ass. Hikers remain recovered. Hackett family suspected. All right. Interesting, because I imagine if we didn't find the body, we just found the camera, then that may not have been enough. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. That seems to be the end of that, so can I keep moving? Or do we need to go all the way through the credits? Okay, I think we have to play all the way through the credits. Okay, but holy shit, guys. This game is so, so good, like, and we played it about uh, over three streams, so it's about, like, I would say, say eight to nine hours long. It's probably closer to ten if you're, like, really, really thorough and, like, exploring every single nook and cranny. Um, but yeah, honestly, I fucked up. I'm not gonna lie, I fucked up, but I was determined from the start, like, I'm gonna live with the choices that I make, I'm not gonna download uh, a previous... Um, save file because this is also a game that auto saves so once you've made a choice or you mess up I don't think you can go back to um, uh, like another moment unless you start the chapter all over again I think I think I'm not 100% sure but honestly I cannot recommend this game enough um, to try out for yourself like honestly 
Even though you've, if you've been watching my stream since the start, you know like all the major plot beats, I highly recommend if you're going to pick this up for yourself, play it honestly the first time through. Um, I think if you're having issues with some of the quick time events, if you don't have the strongest reaction time, because sometimes it's tricky for people, you can go into settings and modify that, I think, so you have a little bit more time. But honestly, play through it once, just completely blind in terms of like, okay, you choose this to get this result, blah, blah, blah. Because um, it just heightens the tension so much. Like there were some points I was just like gripping onto my controller because I was just so scared of a, um, of fucking up. And there were some times I did fuck up. Like I was so sure that I managed to get that shot um, on the werewolf with Caitlyn, but turns out I didn't. And it was that split second fuck up that ended up costing her. But you know what? This game was fantastic. I loved it so much. I'm so glad I picked it for spooky season. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Okay, so we do need to go all the way through the credits. Mm -mm. I wonder if you can keep everyone uninfected and do something to save Silas. I think you might possibly can, because in retrospect, the way that Laura is dressed with the the dress that she's wearing and everything, maybe with like the werewolf blood obscuring her face, like she could have maybe pretended to be his mother and kind of comforted him or put him out of his misery in, in some way. But because I fucked up so bad with Caitlyn, I didn't want to take that risk. And I knew if we killed him now, then that would like save a lot of other people and I didn't want to risk losing Laura because I'd already killed two people. Oh. But yeah, honestly, this game is great and like then like not uh, making that slightly different spur of the moment decision. I was also thinking like maybe if I hadn't been pressing A during that fight with the shotgun, um I wouldn't have uh, shot her face off and then she would have still been okay. Um, I would have probably lost the gun, but she probably would have then still been alive and then the family wouldn't have gotten as hostile. So there's that as well. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm definitely going to be playing this uh, in my own time, maybe even this weekend. Um, and uh, do some experimenting and maybe try some different options in different parts. I have a feeling this is a game where I might go on an achievement hunt uh, just in my own personal time and just try and get as many achievements as I can. Because god damn do I love this game. You've unlocked the death rewind feature. This feature allows you three opportunities within a single playthrough of the quarry to reverse a playable character's death and try again to save them. Use your three lives wisely. You know what? I'm going to activate that just for my own enjoyment. You can now enable or disable the re death rewind feature via the accessibility section of the settings menu at any time. Okay, that's really good. Then it, it tells you you can't like go back um, until you've completed like one playthrough from start to end. And um, there are other options in this game. Um, so there's movie mode. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly in the bottom section, but in movie mode, watch from a selection of predefined outcomes. So that might be where you pick all the different paths ahead of time and they just automatically divert for, uh, for you. Uh, host or join a game with friends for shared experience. Uh, pass a controller and play with friends. That was the one I was telling you about, I think, last stream when I was playing it with my friends and we each uh, switched the controller for a different character. Um, bizarre yet bonafide. Listen to the Bizarre Yet Bonafide podcast. In case that, uh, you weren't already tempted to pick up this game for yourself, you can also listen to the podcast. But I think um, you then have the option when uh, playing a game to pick a more uh, a stylistic element to it. Because I think there's a filter um, over the whole gameplay, which makes it feel more like an 80s movie. So I think it has like that VHS grittiness across it. Um, but yeah, honestly, I cannot recommend this game enough. I had so much fun streaming this with you guys. And also, I just want to say thank you so much for not being backseat gamers. I've heard some 
because I've had I've got some friends who have streamed this before, and they were saying like, oh yeah, that the chat got really frustrated or angry with them when they didn't pick the choices that they wanted. So I just want to say thank you guys for being so chill. And even though I fucked up a couple of times, we had our we put our f's in chat. We had our moments of warning, and then we continued on. So. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight, guys, here at the Blue Rose Respite and for enjoying the quarry with me. I'll have a think about what I want to do uh, next week. I think we have two weeks, I think, before um, uh, the special stream I'm planning on the 28th, I think. Um, but be sure to join me on Sunday for more of Cult of the Lamb. But thank you all so much for joining me tonight, guys. Oh, sorry, that widget's not working. Um, if you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far, please consider following. We would love to have you back at the Blue Rose Respite. You're welcome anytime. Be sure to check out my socials that are in the chat right now, including my Twitter for important updates, my YouTube for my ASMR tales. I have a brand new one coming out tomorrow that I'm very excited about. And my Instagram for lovely pictures. I am so close to a thousand followers on Instagram. So if you're not already following my Instagram, be sure to check that out. Your support would really mean a lot to me. Thank you. So let's just see. Possibly the end of Cold of the Lamb. I could see maybe we maybe do Cold of the Lamb for two more streams, I think. I have a feeling I've got quite a ways to go. Like we're onto the last bishop, but I don't think we're at the end of the story just yet. Um, who should we go say hi to? Um, Let's go give some love to Zoran the Bear because he is amazing and wonderful and deserves lots of love from the Blue Rose Respite. So, go uh, go say hi to Zoran for me. I'm dropping you kids off for him. Uh, he could take care of you guys if you want to keep going for the rest of the evening. But thank you all so much for joining me tonight, guys. I hope you all have, yet have a fantastic weekend. I will see you on Sunday for more Cult of the Lamb and be sure to keep your eyes peeled on my YouTube channel for my ASMR tale that's coming out soon. But thank you so much for joining me tonight, guys. A huge thank you to everyone who uh, renewed their subscriptions and gifted subscriptions. And I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And as always, stay wicked and wonderful. And in the spirit of Hackett's Quarry, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Good night, guys.